Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. As you can see, this is Samsung Tab T510, okay? The screen shut out, so we're gonna replace it. And I do have the replacement right here, as you can see. That's the one. <clears throat> it cost about 50 to 60 pound, okay? Now, remember, there are two things before you forget. First one, you don't have to open from the back to replace the screen, just from the front. And the temperature is the only one thing we need to separate the screen. Plus, before we throw the old one, we need to take the touch panel, touch board underneath this screen. Before we throw it, we have to take this out, otherwise touch don't work because this is only for uh, the display and this is for the touch. The board is right here. So let's do that. And to perform this, we need a couple of tools or even more. Flat opening tool like paper or thin metal, tweezer, automatic or manual screwdriver, and also you need a hair dryer. <coughs> but I don't have the hair dryer, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that, that one. As you can see, this is the one I'm going to use it. So we'll turn this on. It's going to go up to 113 degrees Celsius. And this one is already switched off. So I'm going to put like that face down. Maybe for 10, 15 minutes. Let's melt down the actual things to cook. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video for 10, 15 minutes it depends if you don't have that machine use the hair dryer keep blowing the heat around the screen to soften the adhesive underneath and then we can take this out all right so this is hot enough i'm going to switch this off and take it it's super hot super super hot still i could feel the temperature even through the clothes Look how easily it's coming out. Could you see the glue and everything? Look how simple and easy. So at this point, we're going to disconnect the LCD connector. And the board that you can see that is the touch board a secondary board it doesn't come with the lcd replacement so we have to reuse it so this is sticked with the glue just take this out and now we can dispose the actual broken lcd panel so we have to install it into the new one otherwise the touch wouldn't work so please, before you throw your broken LCD, make sure you pull this out and reinstall it. All right, so now I'm gonna connect it and then I'm gonna put some adhesive on the frame because double-sided tape wouldn't be a good idea. And make sure you connect the flex cable properly Make sure the alignment are correct, otherwise the touch wouldn't work. So example, before I put any glue, I always double check. So when I checked it, the touch panel was not functioning. Then I realized I did not connect the touch flex cable properly. And that's the reason, even it turned on everything on the display, but the touch was not responding anything, okay? So when I reconnected, everything went fine. So I would suggest you Give it a charge if there is no charge or anything and then give it a try okay here one of the mistakes that i done i left the machine on while i disconnect and reconnect which is terribly dangerous okay uh, the reason is it was not switching off because i ha i don't have the password i don't hold the password that is from one of the customer so i had to take the risk but for your situation i would suggest you Switch it off before we disconnect or reconnect any sort of internal cable. 